This is the G91R4. This is, of course, is the brand new tier 5 premium jet for the Italians that is coming along in War Thunder Update 1.87. And I have to say, this thing, it is an absolute riot in Air RB and Ground RB. Now, of course, I've only done a few games in this on the second dev server for Update 1.87, so this is not 100% sure to be how this aircraft will perform in the live server, but it seems fairly likely. So what this is, is effectively a standard G91R. Of course, we have the the R1 in the game. We've had that in the game since the addition of the Italian aviation tech tree, but this has a few extra payloads. First off, two types of Nord guided weaponry. These are key guided uh, missiles. There is an air to ground version and an air to air version. Of course, they're key guided though, so they are not the most accurate. You will need to get quite a bit of practice with them to actually be good. Secondarily, you do also have the four AIM 9 Sidewinders. These are the B variants of the Sidewinder. This, uh, the B variant is a bit less uh, sort of agile than the more advanced version in the game being the E. Although, this still is fairly decent. Say a supersonic jet does a gun run on you and goes flying off in a straight line, you generally will be able to get a lock and kill them if they don't turn. On the other hand, if they do turn and they see the missile, it generally isn't going to hit. Uh, not a very maneuverable missile whatsoever. So in terms of armament, 450 cal machine guns, the M3 variant of the Browning uh, 50 cal. Very good gun. Fairly centrally mounted, very easy to shoot with, as well as just generally doing a lot of damage. And you generally will be able to get kills fairly nicely with these. So, just a quick rundown of the basic stats of the aircraft. First off, max speed is 674 miles an hour, the turn time is 26 seconds, and then the rate of climb is 39 meters per second. So generally, not too bad. Uh, it is a very agile aircraft. Speed isn't so much a factor on this. Agility is what you're really going to be using to an advantage. So, I did only a few games. I did three games on the dev server. I was sort of rushing, and I just was trying to get some clips of me killing stuff. Uh, first off, a missile kill. Um, bots are very annoying on the dev server because they like to turn in circles and as I said the sidewinder not the best with turning but you know he pulled up a tiny bit very very smooth pull up there from that mustier so the missile was able to actually hit him and as you can see here dodging uh, you can dodge enemy aircraft very easily you'll see a bit more of that uh, in a short while landing uh, I have noticed once you touch down if you're going a bit too quick the brake shoot will actually um, first off might make you take off again but for the most part it just pulls the back of your aircraft downwards which obviously then causes you to take off which isn't so good but anyway I was able to repair there luckily they've improved actually the rear of the aircraft's uh, integrity so when you do that previously on the current live server that uh, the back of the aircraft would have ripped off luckily uh, due to the recent changes from 1.87 that doesn't happen anymore now, obviously, I just killed um, a Barragan, I believe it was. Here's a Venom. As you can see, a few hits from the 50 cows does quite a decent job there and certainly finishes them off. Now, another game, uh, a ground target kill there. Um, it's a, it is a ground strike aircraft. Uh, the G91 is mainly built to be a ground strike aircraft as well as having a fighter role. This can also carry unguided rocket pods. Brilliant for ground RB games. Now, this is a clip I really wanted to show. A Valtor, far quicker than me. He will pull away. So he's coming in. This is sort of what I call the missile reversal. So he goes past, and I instantly turn around the aircraft, get ready to get behind him, uh, turn on the missile aiming system. The, the first missile does not hit. The first missile misses, actually, because he pulls up as he's getting lower. And, you know, as you can see, that small pull-up that he just did made it so the missile would not hit. Second missile, though... Um, well, I got a bit more lucky. Uh, so the missile fires off, and... Kablumski. There we go. That is him dead. And, you know, that's all I really wanted to show. Just a few clips. Uh, keeping it fairly brief. Of course, I have done a slightly more in-depth rundown of the aircraft on my G91R4 and G91S, uh, YS, that is, uh, video uh, on the first dev server. This is sort of a secondary video, just saying how I think this is actually a pretty good aircraft. Um... Generally, the loadouts are very good. The other G91s do not have any guided weaponry, so this is a nice addition. It is a nice looking aircraft. There are two skins. There was the green skin and the camouflage skin, as well as also the pre-order skin, which unfortunately was not available on the dev server to test. But there is also a pre-order skin that's grey. Uh, it's fairly standard. But anyway, though, the G91R4, is it worth it? I would say if you want to either just have a jet that is generally agile and very fun to play, 
uh, yes, and also if you want to grind the Italians, get the G91Y, possibly in the future get the Air Italia F104S, yes, certainly. Um, if you are still unsure on whether you want to get it or not, don't rush into getting it before um, before the update's out. Uh, do sort of hold off and wait to see videos of it on the live server where it is the final release version of the aircraft. Anyway though, going to end the video there. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please consider smashing the like button. Maybe even subscribe to the channel if you do. That would be massively appreciated. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one.